Okay, we gotta make a video. I gotta update you guys on some stuff. Um, my bad boy mower with the Kohler 7000 series engine, 747cc, 26 horsepower. Motor's a piece of shit. Always remember that Kohler stands for shit. And I get a lot of crap for that. And I don't understand it. It's bad made, it's bad engineered, and it's a pile of crap. And people want to sit there and defend them like they're some sort of Jeebus. They're not Jeebus, they're a piece of junk company. Always remember that. Stupid, idiotic people who don't know shit from Shinola always got to get some stupid, dumbass comment about that crap. Anyhow, let me update you on a few things. The air filter system that I've come up with here is working fantastic. And the proof is I've been running that almost all year and look how clean that is. Before I'd go and run it one time in the yard and it would come back and it'd be as dark as that cowling right there. That's the proof. At the end of the year, when I change the oil, it'll look even better than, you know, even, you know, look great. And so that's a testament to the air filter. Um, I have went into the carburetor and there's a solenoid on the bottom of it. And I clipped the top off. Once you unscrew it, you clip the top off with a set of uh, side splitters. And that takes care of that, that solenoid going bad. So you can just unplug it and it'll be good to go. It'll be hard to kill it at times, but... Uh, I mean, it's better than having that thing, uh, that thing fail and you not never it, ever getting this thing started. Um, the big thing right now is that the charging system, which, you know, charges the battery and all that stuff, has completely failed. The only thing left that can fail on it is the flywheel inside here will... The magnets will become hot and the glue will unmelt and it'll stick to the armature. Very, 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 very common on the Kohler engines. If you people don't believe me, go look up the Better Business Bureau, uh, all of the uh, information they supply there, which uh, these dummies that leave negative comments on here need to go look at all the Better Business Bureau problems that these motors have. Um, this is how I set it up to do a mow. I have my charger here. I set this up on a timed charger. You can see how the little tabs pop out. So it charges, releases, charges, releases, charges, releases. Then pulsing is, uh, we know this from the old times, that uh, a charge pulse um, is good for the batteries. It kind of helps self-clean them and stuff like that. But besides that, um, I did move the, that is a AC. And here my camera goes again. This is a charge controller. It's a, the, um, stator produces AC. Con this converts it to DC and sends it to the battery to charge the battery. This is a no-name brand, and I want you to look at the back of it. You see how nice and clear and green that is? This worked for almost two years until this charging, or the, until the back that's fell off the flywheel right there. Look how nice and green and, uh, and clear that is. Um, after I replace this, I put this over here. I made this stand which is on the frame underneath the seat. Uh, it originally fit under this knob right under here. And it was on a metal plate. And I'm like, that's stupid because it's on the engine. It will heat up and overheat. Now, proof that that is a better unit is that this is the original. This one did not last one year. Look how dark that is. What makes things dark? Because originally, this backside looked like that one over there. 
Why is this dark? Because it overheated. It overheated within the first year. It went bad within the first year. That one's been on there two years. And I'm going to say that it didn't fail. The alternate, that was the only thing left. That's a common, it happens to all of them. So, and I checked it and it, looked, it checked out okay. And there's lots of videos out there to check these things out if they're good or bad. Not hard to do. So I'm not going to get into that part. But what this leads me, okay, the original has the K on it. The no-name one doesn't have the K on it. So what I'm going to do now is eliminate, and I'm going to have to do this in the wintertime. I can't do it in the summertime. Too damn hot out here. Like right now, I've only been out for 10 minutes and I'm sweating my butt off. But anyhow, um, I'm going to put a car alternator, not a high amperage one, from 60 amp down. I'd like to get one in the 45 amp range. And I, it's got to be a, I'm going to get one of them alternators that's set up to where it's self-exciting and it's a one wire setup. So it's an all-in-one system that is... I don't have to monkey with. I don't have to have a amperage gauge or a voltage gauge or a, an exciter button and crap like that. It's going to be one of them that's going to take care of itself. And there is a kit for an alternator kit for the Harbor Freight V-Twin, which puts a metal piece up here. You bolt a um, flywheel, or not a flywheel, a V-belt groove. And then somewhere onto the side of the motor, you put some brackets and they put a tiny little alternator on it. I was thinking about the Kubota uh, alternator. Number one, they're too expensive. Number two, they're not a one wire. So there'd be a lot of monkeying with it. You know, you'd have to rig up a switch to self-excite it and other crap like that. Man, I just, uh, at this point in time, with all the problems, all the BS, all the drama, I want to be able to get on this SOB, start the SOB up, and mow the damn yard. That's what it was intended to do. Um, you know, but I had somebody that blocked my way of doing it, and it was this. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to put a damn alternator, car alternator on this. And I got the crawling underneath it. And I don't want to get on, get all dirty and stuff, but underneath here, it goes straight down. There's a big pulley that drives the hydrostats and stuff like that. I'm thinking possibly right down there, maybe connecting it to the frame right there. And then somehow have that pulley come up against that and I can use that curve and tighten that somehow to jam it up against there so it turns and generates electricity now with the car alternator the sealed one that has the outside fan only turns in a clockwise motion those that have all the slits in them and does not have an outside fan can turn either left or right clockwise or counterclockwise so but i have not found a car alternator um that's set up, you know, internally cooled, that's self-exciting and other stuff like that. Yeah, I'm sure they're out there. Uh, I've seen some around 110 amp. I don't need that. You know, I don't need a two, $300 alternator. Um, but I'm going to do this crap in the wintertime when it's nice and cool. Uh, the yard don't need mowed, you know. It's situations like this that the air filter system comes in real good. And is really saving this. So, um, I'm really mad as hell. I gotta charge the crap out of it just to be able to mow the stinking yard. And if I go fast enough, which takes me about 40 minutes, we're talking right around two acres. I mean, I, I could I could do it. But it really hacks me off that, you know, you keep working and working and working and things just keep going bad and bad and bad. <laughs> But um, the alternators usually do not get into anything. They'll stick to the armature, which means they're pulled out of the way of the flywheel. So 
I mean, it had to be like a rock get in there to make them make things move around before it to be able to destroy anything. So, other than that, I think they're going to be okay. But eventually, I'm going to get in there and just rip that crap out. I would like to get a carburetor. This is a pollution carburetor. I'd like to get a carburetor that has uh, the adjustments drilled out to where I could actually adjust them. Uh, that was that's something that's I'm going to look into also. And the carburetors are not that expensive, so. But um, I've used carburetor cleaner in the fuel tank, and it's really helped clean the motor out before. Um, I put like a. I know a can is too much, but it was like a can of Berryman's or the Seafoam, and that worked out really good one summer. So, um, I'm going to try to put an alternator on this damn thing, and like I said, it won't happen until wintertime. I'll need some time, and I just don't have a cool place to work right now, and I don't have the alternator. So, I'm going to have to fab up a, a, a couple of brackets and a way to tighten it and stuff like that. But when I get that done, that one wire system, I'll just run that wire straight to that positive post right there and it'll be done. And run a negative from that to the body of the alternator. And that should take care of everything. As far as the charging system, I can just forget about it. But folks, you know, I keep seeing people spend tons of money on you know the flywheels uh, I think I priced it at around three hundred dollars or so and I'm sure with this fantastic economy you know build back better is um, you know it's probably four hundred dollars now yeah, I checked on it a couple weeks ago I'm sure inflation building back better has fixed that so anyhow um, I'm going to put that back together and let it charge. Uh, I made a little stand right here and moved my seat forward. You have to unbolt it and move it forward. And this system uh, is staying. That's two years old. Look at that. It's staying good. So uh, I actually I would not mind to move this up higher. Um, it turned out to be a great idea. But the alternator thing is next. That's the only way to get a charging system on a Kohler. That or just spend tons of money, which you people can do, and keep buying bad parts and throwing on to bad engineering. I'm not going to do that. I don't work that way. Y'all can go ahead and do that. If you don't like what the hell I'm doing right here, then get the hell off my site. That's all I have to say. I got all these stupid people leaving stupid comments, and one dumbass out there said that I was an idiot for moving this because it would burn up. Well, look at that. Two years, and it's not burn up. One year, it's burn up. Less than one year, burn up. So, here's proof that that idiot out there that was leaving comments, you know, I put these videos out here to show people because, be honest, there's a ton of you damn people don't know crap from, shit from Shinola. And, uh, I do. You know, uh, look at my side. I've got the first of, of many, many, many things on YouTube here. So, anyhow, I'll get this thing a go and I'll get that alternator thing on there. And it'll be impressive. And it'll be the only one like it out there in the world. Like a bunch of my other projects. The only one in the world out there. And that'll fix the problems of this uh, junk motor. The mower, bad boy mower, is good. They just had to put this motor on it. Anyhow. Uh, you guys have a good one. Hang in there. And I'll do more videos of this as they come up. Later.